The Artemis 1 rocket successfully launched while many of us were asleep. This morning, the capsule is headed to the moon. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers is live at the Johnson Space Center with the latest to the moon and beyond, <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> Absolutely, to the moon and beyond. That is right. And people all across the country captivated by this mission. As you mentioned, there was a watch party here last night. People were using words like amazing, astonishing. Some say that it was a once in a lifetime opportunity, a once in a lifetime moment to get to witness that. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition and liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together. After months of anticipation, the historic Artemis One mission took flight. The huge rocket blasting off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. And in Houston, dozens gathered at the Johnson Space Center's watch party to take in the moment. I know, I think this is a really once in a lifetime opportunity to just really see something extraordinary. This and just the environment around us. Really exciting. It's a culmination of a lot of hard work, so it's really cool to see. You know, as an engineering student and now working at NASA, this was like the day I waited my whole life to watch. The journey includes sending an uncrewed spacecraft around the moon, paving the way for NASA to return astronauts to the lunar surface for the first time in half a century. The 26-day Artemis I flight is designed to test the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft. Orion is designed to carry humans, but its passengers for this test mission include mannequins. They'll be collecting vital data. And this is just the test flight. And we are stressing it and testing it in ways that we will not do to a rocket that has a human crew. 28 miles per hour. But that's the purpose to make it as safe as possible, as reliable as possible for when our astronauts crawl on board and go back to the moon. So Orion will journey to the moon and then remain in orbit for a few weeks before returning to Earth. Now officials say that the capsule is expected to splash down into the Pacific Ocean on December 11th. So truly an incredible mission that we are witnessing. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.